Hollywood over the years has quietly expressed the images they feel most comfortable with pushing. Images based on European features and having a small waist have remained their main representations of beauty and aspiration. So when a talent who possesses a different set of qualities shines in that environment, we can't help but take notice. In 1997, the industry would be introduced to actress Natalie Dizel Reed, another hopeful talent who was able to win over audiences as soon as she lit up the screen. Now, despite only being in one movie before holding her own next to then season actress Holly Berry, Reed's personality and fun nature would still scenes. And that is why Natalie Dizel Reed is unforgotten. Natalie Dizel Reed was born in Alexandria, Louisiana, where she graduated from Peabody Magnet High School and went on to attend Grambling State University. While there, Reed got a starring role in the college's production of Bubbling Brown Sugar. After taking part in several productions, she then decided to move to Los Angeles and pursue acting as a full-time career. When Reed moved to Los Angeles, she picked up various odd jobs like a waitress, a receptionist, and even a mechanic. In 1996, Reed would get her first major film break with a role in F. Gary Gray set it off as Tanika. The role would be small as she would play a girl from the hood. A year later, the Hollywood newbie would then get introduced with an even bigger role in one of her most notable roles to date, Mickey and Babs alongside Holly Berry. According to Reed, it was Faison Love who would give her the co-sign to meet with director of the film, Robert Townsend. You know who put me on? Phase on Love came to see me in a workshop. He was watching Angela Means and he saw me. He was like, I think I got something for you. He told me I should come to his house. I told Angela I don't want to go to his house. She said to go. So I went to his house and we hung out all day. I heard a buzz. It was the door. And then the next thing I heard, it was the door knock. And it was Robert. Next thing I know, we were doing the audition in Phase on's living room. Reed would go on to land the career-changing role as Mickey next to Holly Berry as Nisi. Bass would tell the story of two friends from the South who decided to move to Los Angeles to raise money for their dream business. While in Los Angeles, they would end up helping take care of an elderly millionaire. At the time, Holly Berry was considered one of the industry's favorites. But despite being a more recognizable name than Reed, she would encourage Reed before filming that the movie was about the both of them. Holly made me feel just as good as her. She was like, no, this movie is about two people. It's not about me. You're just as special and as beautiful as me. And that's what allowed me to be in front of her and be free to do what I needed to do. Everybody doesn't give you that. The film, however, wouldn't get recognized until years later after it was released, as it would only gain $7.3 million at the box office and was met with a lot of criticism. That same year, Reed, however, would then find herself in another comedy, this time starring in Deaf Comedy Jam's How to Be a Player with Bill Bellamy. Again, Reed would win over audiences as Bellamy's sister in the film who attempts to end his player ways. Reed was on a roll as she would venture into TV and would feature in another recognizable role that same year for Disney's Cinderella, a live action starring Brandi Norwood, Whitney Houston, Whoopi Goldberg, and other notable stars. In the iconic feature, Reed would play as Cinderella's jealous stepsister, Minerva, based on the original story. 97 was truly Reed's coming out party. From 1998 to the early 2000s, Reed would continue landing roles in televisions like the show For Your Love in 1998 to 2000. Then in 2003, after appearing in a few smaller films, she would then land a starring role on UPN sitcom Eve, starring rapper Eve as Shelly, a Miami fashion designer. On the show, Reed plays Shelly's lovable friend who helps give advice as well as deals with her own marriage. Unfortunately, after three seasons, Eve would get canceled due to low viewership and a merger between UPN and the WB to create new network, the CW. Upon the ending of Eve in 2006 is when it appears that roles in Hollywood would slow down for the actress. In an interview on the radio show The Rollout Show in 2016, Reed would share how she even had to turn down roles she wasn't comfortable with. I've had to say no when I really needed it financially. I remember the first time was when I was offered something in soul food. They wanted a really big girl to be on top of a guy. They wanted to shoot her naked. And I called my dad. He said, tell me what you need so you don't have to do that. From that point on, I just started looking at everything I've been blessed with so far. 
I didn't have to backstab or sleep with anybody to get it. It came to me. It found me. I want to keep that going no matter how rough the waters get. It takes so much patience and I cry a lot because I feel like I'm deserving, but I know what I want. It would be several years later that Reed would get another shot in a major film, as she would land a role as Tammy in 2011's Medea Big Happy Family from Tyler Perry. According to Reed, she didn't have to audition for the role after instantly winning over Perry at a table read. The film would mark as Reed's most recent movie credit. According to a Facebook post in 2016, Reed would open up to her followers about her hopes of landing the right role in the future. I want to thank every single person that sends me a message of love and encouragement. I'm still in the fight, praying and waiting patiently for the right role written just for me. A good challenge, an amazing character, great pay, in LA so I don't have to leave my family. I am so blessed to have people still rooting for me and sending me love. And I am so, so blessed to have an amazing, supportive, loving husband and smart, respectful, beautiful children. God has been good to me. I can't complain. Keep praying and rooting for me. I think it's real close. I feel it. It also appears that Reed has had some mishaps behind the scenes as well, as she would warn young artists about signing contracts in a 2019 interview with Young Voices Making Changes. Let's say you're just starting out and you're about to sign a contract. Don't sign it. Reed's experiences in the industry has not only helped her become an advocate for young artists, but it has also pushed her to learn about the industry behind the camera. According to a post on her Instagram in January of 2020, she had enrolled herself in the Los Angeles Film School. For the last year and a half, I've been in film school, learning the other side of the camera. Everything from being a grip, a script supervisor, first AD, second AD, everything, but the part that I've enjoyed the most and found my passion in was directing. I love directing. I graduate real soon and I'm so grateful to the Los Angeles Film School. I know what y'all want and I'm gonna give it to you soon. Remember, never give up on your wildest dreams. They could easily become your reality. The following month in February, Reed would share another update with her followers that she would be reprising her iconic role as Mickey for the play version of Baps with upcoming talent Jasmine Brown as Nisi. Unfortunately, however, due to COVID-19, the play would come to a halt in March. Reed has gotten some great roles early on in her career, but many, including herself, still feels that she has so much more to offer. The industry may have forgotten about Natalie Dizelle Reed, but audiences haven't. And that is why Natalie Dizelle Reed will always remain unforgotten.